Yeah, so we succeeded in bringing the body here. So for the next few minutes, let us establish ourselves more and more here in this environment, keeping the mind where the body is. They tend to fragment and the mind goes in some other timeline. So we can use the sense of hearing and or the awareness of breathing to tie ourselves to the mast of now. We can engage again with that exercise we played before to just as an experiment to not go into anything known, anything that we have ever learned, not to engage with any concept or any Thing that implies anything we have learned. The mind will still offer subjects. Do the best you can to notice the arising of these baits and be closed for business like a taxi who is off duty, hearing, breathing, knowing. As we inadvertently fall asleep in some daydreaming and then we also waking up. So as you wake up to having been lost, reaffirm simply being here. Whenever you catch yourself from daydreaming, try to stay more the space without thoughts. So Spensky used to say sometimes to treat this meeting as if it's the last meeting. Treat this meditation as if it's the last meditation. If 
So one day it will be the last meeting and the last meditation. And we don't know when that meeting, that day will be. Remembering that this movie will end, this body, this opportunity here will end, can help us live fully. It's hard to live fully in moments that they seem trivial, not spectacular. Yet these moments are much more comprising our life, unspectacular, simple moments. Open now more to the experience of now by checking in with our inner body, feelings, energy, sensations. See if we are watching the waves or the clouds. Giving them the freedom to unfold as they do. Aware of thinking, movement, aware of the world appearing as sounds and smells and textures. aware of the instinctive and emotional center, the moving center, the posture. And we wouldn't be able to hear or perceive anything without this already active, alive, fully functioning presence. And this presence, we can't pinpoint it or find it somewhere. that which illumines our experience, this aware knowing field, which is behind the thoughts, behind the sensations.
just like the sky is behind the birds and the clouds. So there is this correlation between attention and tuning into what we are as this presence. We need to have attention. If there is not enough attention, we are taken into the past waves or future waves. We miss the crest of the now. However, if our attention is completely focused on objects like sounds or sensation, if we are focused on them, we can't sense this aware background. That's why the teachers, they recommend to have this released attention, unfocused. Directionless alertness. So we are not focusing into one thing, yet we naturally Notice all things. If somehow you have trouble, let's say, finding this presence or this aware being, know that it is that which is hearing, that which is looking. And if we follow every arising up its source, the sound, brings us to the hearing presence. The sensations, they bring us to this feeling, awareness. And trying too hard means we are tense, looking for something, but that which we are looking for, it's invisible and we are already, we are it. So if we don't think about the past and the future, we don't plan, if we don't go into memories, what is left here?
from this place I would like to do a little bit of something else exploration investigation so yeah let's bring to this investigation lab of our presence let's bring up some pattern or as we talk lately with using the fourth way system some feature whatever that is one that is more obvious for you you're noticing more lately whatever that is some pattern feature is a mixture of a pattern of acting pattern of reacting in connection to oneself or other people or the world situations it has some thoughts in it it had some story about me story about them and who has been practiced So just welcome one such pattern, one such feature, whatever it is, judgment, self-deprecation, controlling, hiding, not finishing things. Just pick up one thing and welcome this pattern and images connected with this. Just choose one, don't, don't think too much. And allow memories about these images as well as bodily reactions about this. And simply watch. Some time when it was kicked in, it just kicked in and it took you, got identified and started to operate like that. What is this pattern trying to achieve? What is it trying to avoid or to obtain? Yeah, so as I ask these questions, just witnessing whatever comes and just being present to those answers as well as any other connections, feelings. What's another seeming advantage or benefit of going into that setting mode of being Also noticing this space of awareness out of which these bubbles come. What is it that is trying to protect you from this patterned identity when 
that type of pattern arises, what does it try to protect you from? What feeling is underneath it? Where do you feel this when that arises, you know, maybe it's linked to some part of the body, this, this me feeling rising up to be seen or to control or to avoid, is it linked to some location in the body? Whatever rises, notice also this aware openness, which is here as well. What is the cost? or some disadvantage of this pattern kicking in over and over. When did it start, as far as you remember, it started to get more formed, this habit pattern? Was it in the family? Was it in school? Just exploring, benevolently curious, non-judgmentally. These features or patterns are necessary. That's the friction. For a long time they will keep us asleep, but at some point we are becoming so sensitive to them so their energy, their f maybe fervor or agitation of this energy arising, this me arising will become noticed and is going to wake us up How, this, how does this pattern see others? Others are ways to get something or to avoid something. How does it see others?
who else in your family? Maybe there's someone in your lineage or in your family might have some similar pattern. See them from this point of view. So see other people in your life that have this pattern, you know them, they might be even here in this group or they might be in your life. And see how when this arises, we switch or we are solidly in this mode of being a separate someone together with other, other separate others negotiating in some way. So allow and welcome consciously any other side pattern of judging yourself or being upset with yourself or beating yourself up, criticizing yourself for, for this unconscious pattern. Now, I would like you to experientially check who, who are you here, really? Who are you? Are you this one with this pattern? These reactions? Or are you the seer, the knower of this pattern? Are you these reactions in the body now, these feelings now? Or are you more that which is perceiving? Just check fresh, check fresh now experientially. The very fact that you have memories about this pattern implies that the real you is apart from it, watching it. Yeah, so now we have a choice to stay involved with this reactions and thoughts about it and stay involved with a fragment, with a small part, or we can open the sense of our attention and zoom out of any sensation or memory and go back to this here and now, being aware.
ourselves in our surrounding, regardless of any feelings, postures, temperatures. For the last couple of minutes, just do nothing. Staying as this silent, open perceiver. Instead of becoming a fish, we stay as this conscious water. We can gradually switch into this more uh, dynamic setting of presence where we hear and listen to each other speak, but remaining, remaining as the presence is aware of our fidgeting, aware of our gestures, aware of thoughts. Colors. Mm -hmm. 